and we're going to do some uh, joints. So the joints are, now like I said, you know, use your chart. Don't be afraid of not knowing all of the names and everything. It's a lot to remember. So, um, I mean, I use references. So make sure you, uh, you use your reference uh, so that, and the more you do it, the, the easier it's going to be in remembering uh, those names. You'll memorize them little by little. So going back to the head and talking about some of the major joints that are really, really affect the horse. The first one is the temple mandibular. And so how am I going to do this? The temple mandibular is where the mandible attaches to the stationary part of the skull with the cranium up in here. And that's right in here. Now, this is an extremely important part of the horse. Now, of course, every part is because the whole horse is connected, but this in particular, and the reason being, uh, we are directly affecting the entire body of the horse by having our hands connected to the mouth, however that is, or whether that's through a bit, a bitless bridle, or what have you. Um, this joint has direct connections to the pole, which had which connects muscles through the back and the tail, the way to the tail, affecting you know the horse's ability to extend and and, and collect, um, the sacrum, ability to step under, collect, lift the back, uh, and then this also has connections to um, the ventral chain muscles, and that is through. Oh, well, there's a lot actually uh, different connections, but one of the major ones is the hyoid apparatus. Now the hyoid apparatus, we have one as well, and it sits on the inside of the jaw and connects to the uh, temporomandibular right at that joint, but on the inside. And it's a series of, of bones that are quite small there's the lingual process that inserts into the tongue and allows the tongue to move. This um, set of bones has muscular connections, cartilage, and all sorts of connections to the horse's pole, which, like I said, connects through to the tail and then um, to the horse's tongue, like I mentioned, and the ventral chain muscles, which run all the way down the body, uh, down the belly, and up into the pelvis. So really by riding the horse, you have to be very careful because that, those bones are, um, that structure is it's pretty sensitive and, um, and affecting a lot of uh, parts of the body. And we'll get into the, the apparatus one day. Um, we'll probably build it. But uh, for now, just knowing that uh, that tempo mandibular uh, junction is extremely important to the health of the horse. Then we have the atlanto occipital, which um, connects the the uh, head and to the neck. If obviously we can't see that because we're going to sculpt it. Then we have the humeral joint, which is this these two coming together, so the humerus coming to the scapula, that's that joint. And then we have the cubital joint down here, and that's these three bones coming together, the ulna, femur, so and we can see the, the ulna, the femur, and the radius. So that's those guys coming together. And then we have the carpus joint. That's the knee. All of these guys. Are lots of little joints going on in here. I'm not going to get into that today. One day we'll, um, I do have schedule it in to do an up close of that, that structure, uh, which will be very interesting because there's a lot going on in there. And then the um, fetlock pasture and then hoof which we don't have structured, which we will be building. We move over. Um, so, oh, something I actually did not mention um, is that 
the different parts. So right now we're looking at the appendicular skeleton and joints. So appendicular is the um, this part, the legs, and then the axial is this part, the, the, the vertebra, you know, and the, the yeah, the vertebra and the, the thorax and the head and all of that. So yeah, you have that in your chart. So um, so moving over to the pelvis, in terms of joint, major joint is this hip joint here. Um, it's the femoral patellar joint, as well as the femoral tibial joint. So, um, oh, my apologies. I was pointing completely to the wrong place. So the femoral patellar joint is down here, and the femor, uh, femoral tibial joint is are all in here. So the patellar joint is where the patella is, right here, and the femoral, uh, femoral tibial joint is down here. So this is the patellar joint. This guy here, and then the other one I just mentioned here. Now moving up, this is the hip joint. Okay. So that's where the where this meets the hip. And then we have the sacroiliac joint, which sits now the sacroiliac joint is here on the inside. So here you can see that you make two dots because I don't know if you can see roughly. Um because that's where the sacrum sits. And the sacrum is are the five fused bones uh, in the horse's body. And that along with the large hip joint um, is what creates movement in the horse's back end. Pelvis, we do not want to see the pelvis moving. Uh, that is a stationary object by the horse lifting its back, by the legs moving, this, these legs moving, is what makes this this system you know, tuck under, right, uh, go outward. But this pelvis, we never want to see moving. So when it moves, that means there's damage to the cartilage. Uh, so that's a stationary object within the body, ideally. Um, and then what else do we have? We have the tarsal joint uh, down here. Uh, and that's so this this whole thing, and again, lots and lots and lots of things going on down here uh, in the in the hock joint, um, and then down below the hock is the same as uh, the front leg. So those are our joints, or at least the major ones. You have some more on your um, download, so I suggest you take a look at that.